We're going to discuss uh, lines, their equations, and uh, in particular, uh, the slope of a line. So if we have a Cartesian system of coordinates and we sketch a line, as long as the line is not uh, vertical, then it represents the graph of an equation or the graph of a function. And it's, it is given by an equation that looks like this, y is equal to mx plus b. In fact, we have some very specific names for uh, this coefficient. So m is called the slope of the line. And B is called the um, y-intercept. Let's explain these names. So first of all, the y-intercept is because uh, for x equals 0, we have y equals b. So this means that the point uh, 0, comma b belongs to the line. And 0, comma b is exactly the point at which the line intersects the y-axis. So that's why we call it the y-intercept. The situation with the slope is much more interesting. So if we take uh, two points on the line, we can form uh, the so-called rise over run. So between the, these two points, so let's say this is the point x1, y1, and this is the point x2, y2. Then this is the rise between these two points. And this is the run between these two points. And the rise over run for these two points is equal to um, y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1. Actually, the truth is that it doesn't even really matter in what order you take the point. So you could do y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And they're exactly the same thing. What is kind of interesting is that if you take any two other points, any two other points, and you form the corresponding ratio. So you take, uh, let's say this is x3, y3, and this is x4, y4. And it turns out that uh, uh, the rise over run for those points uh, will be y4 minus y3 over x4 minus x3. Again, you could have taken the other way around. But what is the really remarkable thing here is exactly because these triangles are similar, the two ratii, the rise over run for the first pair of points and the rise over run for the second rise of the second pair of points is the same. So does not depend on the choice of a point. And it turns out that this rise over run is what we call the slope of the line. So the slope nothing else but the rise of a run as computed for any two random points on the line. Now, uh, if you have, if the slope is zero, then the line is horizontal. There is no rise, pretty much. If the slope is positive, then the line goes up as you see it from the right, from the left to the right. And if the slope is negative, then the line is going down as you look at it from the left to the right. In fact, the larger the positive slope is, the more abrupt the line, uh, the more abruptly the line increases. And if the uh, slope is negative, then the smaller it is, the more abruptly the line um, decreases or turns downward. So uh, in some sense, if we know the slope of a line and the point through which the line goes, then we can fully identify the line. So if somebody tells us that I have the point uh, AB, 
and I have a line that has slope n. Then uh, we could argue that uh, its equation is actually y minus b is equal to m times x minus a. This is called the point slope formula. Let's do some examples in order to understand uh, how this works. So for example, uh, find the equation of the line going through the points one, three, and three, negative two. Obviously, you can see that this line is going down as you look at it from the left to the right. So how do you solve something like this? The slope is simply uh, 3 minus negative 2 over 1 minus 3, uh, which is 5 over negative 2, so minus 5 halves. And you can use this slope along with any of the two points. So y minus 3 is equal to negative 5 over 2 times x. Uh, minus one. So you can see here, I'm using two pieces of information. I'm using the fact that I have this point. I have also know that this is the slope and I bring them together by using this formula. Let's do one more. As usual, whenever you see such examples, make sure you um, pause the video and try to do the examples yourselves. By yourselves and find the equation. Uh, technically, you could say an equation, but here all of these equations are solved for y, and once you solve for y, you pretty much get a single equation. But find the equation of the line that uh, goes. through the point uh, one, three, and has slope two. Okay, again, pause the video, try to do it yourselves, by yourselves, and here's the answer. It's going to be y minus three, is equal to two times x minus one. You can leave the equation like this. You can also work it out and solve for y. So y is three plus uh, two x minus two, which eventually becomes y is equal to two x plus one. Okay. You can simplify it as much as this. Uh, please understand that uh, the one thing which is not uh, considered in the discussion that we just made is vertical lines. If you have a vertical line, it simply has a very simple equation. So let's say that it goes through the point two of the x-axis, then its equation is x equals two. You cannot solve for y, you cannot have a slope. So uh, vertical lines are not supposed to have slopes. And that's all we need to know about lines and their slopes. Thanks for watching.